Hello everybody. Cardio challenge this week is how far can you get in one hour? What distance can you cover in a one hour period? Remember, do warm up and you can make that an extra few minutes before your clock actually starts for your hour and then track how far you cover in that one hour. You might be walking, you might be jogging, you might be on your bicycle, whatever it is, choose the same one every month and you can even choose a similar route so that you know your elevation changes and whatever are the same so that you can really get a handle on how much you're improving all year long. Now remember, every month you do this, you want to write down exactly how far you got. So maybe you're using RunKeeper, maybe you're using MapMyRun.com, whatever it is that you're using to track your distance, keep track of it because I want you to look back at the end of this year and look at how much you improved and feel really proud of yourself. And remember, this is training for our 5K that Live Fit runs every three months now. That 5K is coming up at the end of June, so this is your training time. If your name isn't already on the list for having done the 5K last time around at the end of March, make sure you join that list. We want you on there because we want you to feel like you're really achieving something. You know, you check off your workouts and you do the nutrition plan. Getting on that list and showing yourself how much you improve in a 5K every three months is really empowering and we really want that for you. So join us, get out there, do your one hour distance, how far can you travel, and then do the 5K at the end of the month.